Hey, good morning. God bless you guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I want to share this word with you. And I want for you guys, this is one of, this is one of my favorite scriptures. But I want for you guys to listen to the word in the Amplified Classic. The AMPC. Why do I personally read from the AMPC? Is because it gives... Um, it gives parentheses and um, uh, uh, and meaning from the Greek and the Hebrew to give you better understanding. So as you read the passage, it gives more detail as to what the writers were saying in regards to the text. So Galatians 2.20. Now listen to what the Bible says. I have. Now I want for you, I want for you guys to remember. I want for you guys to think about this. Listen to what the Bible says, because this is you, us, the body. I have been crucified with Christ in him. Listen, in him, I have shared in his crucifixion. It is no longer I who live but Christ, the Messiah, lives in me, lives in you, brothers and sisters. And the life I now, and the life I now live in the body, which, which is and becomes the body of Christ, which is why you have to see it from this mindset. Your temple, your body is no longer your body, your own, because it's been bought with a price. The blood of Christ bought and paid for your life, spirit, soul, and body. Body, soul, and spirit. Remember this. Now watch this. And the life I now live in the body, watch this, I live by, I live by faith in, by adherence to and reliance on and complete trust in the Son of God. Not what the carnal mind says, not what your intellect says, not what human reasoning is trying to say to you in the Son of God, who is truth, Christ in you. Doing what? Manifesting what from you? The hope of glory. What is that glory in hopes of his presence revealed through your life? For we are living epistles read by all men. And if we're living epistles, what are they reading? What are they hearing? Do you speak like, do you sound like, and do you look like Christ? Is Christ manifesting? Are our sons and daughters manifesting the realities of the kingdom? Or are they just manifesting what they belong to? The church and ease, the churchianity, the cliches and the slogans of church stuff going on in the world today. D d is, is what your life reflecting look like Christ? Or does it look like the kingdom? Or does it look like the world, the, the Western American gospel churchianity? Or does it look like the kingdom of God of what the book of Acts, the early church was modeling modeling, not just doing lip service, not just talking a good game, modeling the life, living the life sold out to Christ, manifesting the word in which they put their faith, their faith in, reliance upon, and full complete trust in Christ in us, the hope of glory. Now let's get back to the text. Watch this by adherence to and reliance on and complete trust in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself up for me. Who loves you 
and gave himself up for you. Holding off those wolves that are trying to lie to you, keep you deceived so that you don't walk in the fullness of what Christ in you, manifesting through you, has come to bring. Emphasis, I have been crucified. If you have been crucified, there is no devil that can have life in a crucified life who is in Christ. There is no enemy that could take residence or, or come to live in a crucified son and daughter of God because they no longer live. I have been crucified with Christ in him. I have shared in his crucifixion. It is no longer I who live, but Christ the Messiah lives in me, lives through me, and manifest and reveals the truth that comes from my lips to speak to your heart and your soul to set you free. Christ in you, the hope of glory, revealed through the life of what you manifest as a reality to truth, not deception, not the serpent seed, to truth. What is the truth and who is truth? Truth is the person of Jesus Christ. It's no longer you that lives. So stop claiming and saying you're this or you're that or you're the hang up or you're the situation. You need to fix your mindset in it upon the finished work and the reality of what the scripture has spoken and reveals and speaks concerning you. Christ in you, the hope of glory. It's no longer you that lives. It's Christ that lives on the inside of you. And because you have died, you've been crucified with Christ. When you were raised into the newness of life, you weren't raised with devils. You were raised with Christ. In the blood of Jesus, will always speak better things. Y'all be blessed in Jesus' name.